Okay, this one here is, is a disguised quadratic because we've got a power of x here and this one's double the power. So I'm going to do it sort of the traditional way. Let y equals x to the power of third. So y squared equals x to the two thirds. So our equation now becomes y squared minus y minus six equals zero. Hopefully it's going to factorize. We're doing C1, so it's quite likely to. How do I get 6? I can get 6 with 1 and 6. 2 and 3 is negative, so 1's positive and 1's negative. I've got to get minus 1 here, so it's pretty obviously going to be 2 and 3. Put in 2 and 3. I want it to be negative 1y, so that 3 is going to be negative, because that's going to be minus 3y plus 2y. That's great. Now I've got something times something equals... Um, y plus 2 equals 0, or y minus 3 equals 0, and so y equals negative 2, or y equals 3. But that's not what I had. I wanted it in terms of x, because the equation was in x, so I have to substitute that back. x to the power of a third is the same as a cube root of x, so this gives me a cube root of x equals negative 2, or the cube root of x equals 3. I don't want a cube root of x, I want x, so I need to cube both sides and that will vaporize the cube root sign and get x equals minus 2 cubed was minus 8 or x, we'll get rid of the cubed the cube root bit, equals 3 cubed which is 27 and that's question 4 done.